it doesn't make sense. Taxpayers are eating. I feel like the procedure is very inefficient. The cost of state leftovers. It's wasteful. Says a senator with an appetite to change Utah's surplus property program. Not counting Utah fleet sales, Senator Todd Weiler is convinced the program based at this Draper warehouse loses money. Here for sale, the rote. They actually rang the bells at the state capitol. And rare of government used hardware. But it's usable. To get much of this here, the surplus property program sends out two trucks which collect bureaucracies once needed, now unwanted. But this internal audit described the pickups as not cost effective. It said too many items are being picked up that are of limited or no value. Included in the audit, a manifest of a run last year in which a truck went to a state agency and picked up a couple of cell phones, two chairs, computer accessories, and office supplies. But as noted by R's and T's on this manifest, all of the material was recycled or trashed. I'm not going to, you know, dispute, the, dispute the fact that that the less than $50 stuff is inefficiently taken care of right now. Marilee Richens is with the State Administrative Services Department, which oversees surplus property. We want to work together and find the best solution for this. In Utah, old state equipment in many cases can't just be thrown away. The people in charge of surplus property must approve how to get rid of it. Other states like Georgia do the same, but don't go trucking for used excess. Georgia only sells surplus online. Next door in Idaho, state agencies can divest by having an auction. Idaho also doesn't make surplus road trips. Utah has a few items for sale online, but still puts on the miles to get surplus property, or agencies sometimes bring it to the warehouse. If I'm an agency, is it cheaper for me to have you come pick it up, or cheaper for me to bring it in? Oh, absolutely cheaper for you to bring it in. But there's still an expense. One department told me it had old office furniture in St. George that was surplus property. So it rented a truck and assigned two workers to drive 300 miles from Salt Lake to St. George to pick up the furniture, then turn around and drive back to the warehouse in Draper and unload. Roughly 600 miles total, gas, rental truck, workers' time for mostly old desks and chairs. I think Utah is uh, the best managed state. I think we do a lot of things right, but but I think we have a few uh, warts and, and pimples uh, that need to be popped, and I, and I believe this is one of them. Not exactly the metaphor you may have been looking for. Auditors last year found the state. Hello, nice to see you. Auditors last year found the state uh, uh, lost about $1,000 a day in some cases in uh, the surplus property program. Weiler says he has a bill that would sell the stuff on site, donate it, or trash it. If you're interested in the warehouse, it is open in Draper right next to the prison on Wednesdays, noon to 4. Uh, you may have paid to get the stuff there, but once it's there, there are some pretty good deals. Mark and Shana, hmm. back to you. Who knew? <laughs> you are a professional, Brian. I was going to say, who's smoother <laughs> you, than you? You didn't flinch when that guy tried to kiss That's you out there. That's the best kiss the I've had all day. <laughs> <laughs> For him. <Yeah. laughs> all right, Brian. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it.